There are several unsolved problems in physics that top scientists around the world still couldn't figure out. These questions have baffled scientists for years and continue to be the focus of research around the world. Let's look at top 10 notable unsolved problems. Welcome to CogniPlus, where curious people like you come to hang out. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're missing out. Theory of Everything The idea behind the theory of everything is to find a single, unified theory that describes all fundamental forces and particles in the universe. Currently, our understanding of the universe is divided into two main theoretical frameworks, quantum mechanics and general relativity. Quantum mechanics describes the behavior of the very small particles like electrons, protons, and photons. The most successful quantum theory we have is the standard model of particle physics. It provides an accurate description of three of the four known fundamental forces, electromagnetism, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force. General relativity was proposed by Albert Einstein. This describes the behavior of the very large stars, galaxies, and the overall structure of the universe. It provides a framework for understanding the fourth fundamental force, gravity, as a curvature of space-time due to mass and energy. The problem is that quantum mechanics and general relativity are mathematically incompatible in extreme conditions, such as those at the center of black holes or at the very moment of the Big Bang. Both theories break down and give nonsensical predictions when we attempt to use them together in these situations. A theory of everything would ideally unite quantum mechanics and general relativity into a single framework. This new theory would describe gravity on the quantum level, leading to a quantum gravity description. As of now, no one has successfully developed a widely accepted theory of everything. Discovering this theory would be revolutionary, as it would provide a complete, coherent description of the entire universe from the tiniest particles to the vast expanses of cosmic space. Dark matter. This unseen matter affects the motion of galaxies and the structure of the universe, and it has been given the name dark matter because it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light. It is dark in the sense that it does not interact with electromagnetic forces, which means it can't be seen directly. Some of the most compelling evidence for dark matter are galactic rotation curves, gravitational lensing, cosmic microwave background. While we're quite sure dark matter exists, its precise nature remains a mystery. We'll dive deeper into this in another video. Dark energy. G observations of distant supernovae in the 1990s provided shocking evidence that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. This acceleration implies the existence of a mysterious force opposing gravity, which has been named dark energy. The accelerating expansion of the universe is the primary evidence for dark energy. This was determined by studying distant type of supernova and noting that they appear dimmer and thus farther away than expected. The nature and properties of dark energy remain even more elusive than those of dark matter. The most straightforward explanation is the cosmological constant proposed by Einstein, which represents the energy density of the vacuum of space. However, why the cosmological constant has the value it does remains a mystery. Together, dark matter and dark energy make up about 95% of the content of the universe, yet they are among the greatest mysteries in cosmology. Understanding their nature would significantly advance our knowledge of the universe's history and its ultimate fate. Matter-antimatter asymmetry Every fundamental particle in our universe has a counterpart, known as an antiparticle. For instance, the antiparticle of an electron is called a positron. These antiparticles are identical in mass to particles but opposite in other properties such as charge. The Big Bang theory suggests that the early universe should have produced matter and antimatter in equal quantities. When particles and antiparticles meet, they annihilate each other, releasing energy. Given the supposed equal initial quantities, our universe should, in principle, have annihilated itself shortly after the Big Bang, leaving behind only radiation. However, that's not what we observe. Our universe is dominated by matter, and the question of why there is such an apparent asymmetry between matter and antimatter remains one of the most intriguing puzzles in cosmology and particle physics. The Fate of the Universe 
With the universe expanding at an accelerating rate due to dark energy, its ultimate fate is unclear. Will it continue expanding indefinitely, resulting in a cold and empty universe? Or might the expansion eventually reverse, leading to a big crunch? Alternatively, if dark energy strengthens over time, it could lead to a big rip, tearing the universe apart. Heat death is the most likely end scenario based on our current understanding. As the universe continues to expand at an accelerating rate due to dark energy, galaxies will move farther apart, stars will burn out, and the universe will become colder and more diffuse. Eventually, it will approach a state of maximum entropy where all energy gradients are dissipated and no work can be done. The universe will end up as a vast, cold, and dark space. Quantum Entanglement When two quantum particles become entangled, the state of one can determine the state of another, regardless of the distance between them. This phenomenon seems to violate Einstein's theory of relativity, which states that information cannot travel faster than light. The nature and implications of entanglement remain topics of active research and philosophical debate. Black Holes Information Paradox Black holes are one of the most intriguing and mysterious objects in the universe, beyond their event horizons or the boundary within which nothing can escape their gravitational pull, not even light, our current understanding of physics breaks down. But the intrigue goes deeper than that, especially when quantum mechanics, the theory that governs the behavior of the tiniest particles, clashes with general relativity, the theory that explains the force of gravity. According to quantum mechanics, information in the universe is never lost. Black holes, as described by general relativity, act as sinks where anything that crosses the event horizon is lost to the external universe forever, ultimately disappearing when the black hole evaporates due to Hawking radiation. In the 1970s, Stephen Hawking demonstrated that due to quantum effects near the event horizon, black holes are not entirely black. Instead, they emit radiation and thus lose mass over time. This phenomenon is called Hawking radiation. Given enough time, a black hole can evaporate completely. The paradox arises because the Hawking radiation appears to carry no information about the stuff that fell into the black hole. So, if the black hole evaporates completely, where does the information about its initial contents go? If information is truly lost inside black holes, it would violate a fundamental tenet of quantum mechanics. On the other hand, if information is somehow preserved, how does it escape the clutches of a black hole? especially when our current understanding suggests that nothing can escape from it. The Double Slit Experiment The Double Slit Experiment is one of the most famous and intriguing experiments in the realm of quantum mechanics. Imagine a barrier with two closely spaced slits. Behind this barrier, there's a detection screen. You fire individual particles like electrons or photons at the barrier. From a classical perspective, if you shoot particles at the two slits, you'd expect to see two bands directly behind the slits on the detection screen, since the particles should pass through the slits just like small bullets and hit the screen behind them. When both slits are open, but you're not observing which slit the particle goes through, an interference pattern emerges on the screen. Instead of two bands, you see several bands of high and low intensity, known as interference pattern. This pattern is characteristic of waves interfering with each other. Now, if you place a detector at the slits to observe which slit the particle goes through, the interference pattern disappears. Instead, you get the expected two bands on the screen, as if the particles are behaving just like particles and not waves. Things get even stranger with variations like the delayed choice double slit experiment. Here, the choice of whether or not to measure the particle at the slits is made after the particle passes through the slits, but before it hits the detection screen. The results imply that the act of measurement, or the decision to measure, affects the particle's past behavior, showing that particles are behaving just like particles and not waves. The experiment challenges our classical intuition about reality. Does a particle's state become definite only when observed? Do particles choose a state based on future events? Many scientists call this experiment spooky, and many believe that we might be living in a simulation the nature of time. Current cosmological models suggest the universe began with the Big Bang around 13.8 billion years ago. But what does it mean for time to 
begin? Was there nothing before the Big Bang? Or is time an illusion? Some philosophers and physicists have argued that time as we perceive it might be an emergent phenomenon or even an illusion. This perspective challenges our most basic intuitions about reality. Are there extra dimensions? Some theoretical frameworks like string theory predict the existence of more than the familiar three spatial dimensions. How can we detect or prove these additional dimensions? As we gaze up at the vastness of the universe, we're reminded of the endless wonders waiting to be unraveled. From distant galaxies to the mysteries right under our noses, our quest to understand continues. Hope you liked this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Stay curious.